Sabah everybody and welcome back to Exploits Tuesdays. Today I'm going to share with you guys the best way to find out what works and what doesn't work on Android Oreo, specifically when it comes to Exposed. We've had support for Exposed now for the last three betas, we're up to beta 3, and it's actually becoming a bigger list than you might expect. So I'm going to share with you guys the resource that I always find that would be very, very helpful. Also, I'm going to share with you guys uh, what's the best way to actually get modules installed on your device. This is TK. Let's check it out. Before we go too far, a couple of things. You need to have an unlocked device as well as a custom recovery and root access before you even start. Uh, the other thing is you do need to download the Expose installer as well as the binaries and flash those. The binaries are flashed through your recovery. So you notice here version 9 of beta 3 is the latest iteration that supports Oreo. And now we have more applications running. And you can, of course, download the uh, more or later updates as they become available and you'll see them when the, different, the version differs from what's here and what's on your device. Uh, downloading modules is pretty simple. You go under the, the download tab. You can find which ones you'd like. You can check them. Now you'll notice some of them will have N, O, and M. Those are indicators of the version. So Gravity Box, you definitely don't want to download the N one on Oreo. You would want to download the Oreo one. So if you go into here, you'll notice Gravity Box O. That would be the one compatible with your device. Uh, if you're running Oreo, if you're running Marshmallow or Nougat, of course, download the compatible one. Uh, now, some of these things are the ones that I have installed. You'll notice here, as I showed you guys, you saw Pi showing right there. And of course, I also have Swipe Back that's installed that gives me access to be able to swipe things away. Um, I did find that the Expose installer does crash every once in a while on Oreo. So what I've opted to do is use XDA Labs. Now, XDA Labs is a great source to be able to get the XDA portal, applications hosted at XDA Labs, as well as the Expose modules. So I find this really, really functional. It's very stable. You can download, update, and as well as see screenshots and reviews of whatever module you'd like to install. And of course, you can filter them by either installed Expose mods, and of course, recently updated Expose mod, and then last but not least, uh, so I guess those are the only two, but you can also go categories. Uh, those are the two ways of getting mods on your device. Now, to find out which ones are the best ones running on Oreo and compatible, and what are if they're partially compatible or fully compatible, we're going to need to switch over to our desktop. Now, to get the latest and greatest, as not only just from the sense of the installer as well as the binaries for uh, Exposed, uh, this is also going to be a really good threat for you guys to be able to get the latest at working modules for Exposed on Oreo. So the first thing you want to do is go to the X XDA forums, XDA community apps, Exposed General. This is the general forum for Exposed. Scroll down about halfway. Uh, but before we go too far, make sure you're running on the latest version. So version 90 beta 3, this was released on the 29th of January. Uh, and then, of course, about halfway through the page, there's a thread here by Pathram uh, that says working exposed modules for Oreo. Now, this is going to be the best thread that you're going to be able to use um, just to make sure that you know which one and which one work or don't work. If you don't want to take the guesswork out of trying it yourself. Uh, keep in mind that some of these things are app specific or also device specific. So just download them to your, make sure that you, they work on your system. So you look at here, we have Greenify, uh, latest beta is wor uh, working. Uh, although there is in different area here where they mentioned Greenify partially working in different areas. So just keep in mind, Greenify is getting updated. Gravity Box, make sure you download the Oreo version of it. Uh, Xinsta is partially working as well. Uh, what I do like, of course, is, and where is it here? Swipe Back is actually uh, returned in its second version. So Swipe Back 2 is working and it works beautifully. Uh, Root Cloak, Wi-Fi Password, uh, as far as Miming Guard for closing uh, with some of the applications, so keep that in mind. It works, but it has some issues with some apps. Uh, fake apps, of course, uh, YouTube Swipe to Seek, all of those things, uh, the navigation progress bar, no lock home, WhatsApp extensions, X privacy works, but you need to set the SE links permission to permit, uh, SE links to permission, uh, to permissive as opposed to forcing. Uh, again, here it mentions Greenify partially working. The beta seems to work much better. Uh, secure accessibility, uh, XE for, for SwiftKey, again, more specific to SwiftKey. Uh, and, you know, just copy toast, CPU temperature, disable full screen keyboard, fake Wi Fi, max lock. A lot of modules that are actually currently working. Uh, they also have a very small list of things that are not working. So what we can say at this point is Oreo is full on in support. For beta 3 is running and it's very, working really, really nice. Uh, keep this and I would recommend you bookmarking this page as this is going to be your best resource for working modules on Exposed, specifically on Oreo. As you may or may not be aware of, obviously I do videos on XDA and that's basically how I started with the Exposed. Exposed Tuesdays is a really good series that brings you up-to-date information as far as what Exposed current state is and what's working and not working. Uh, the list that I shared with you guys there, there's also many lists that are similar to that for other versions of Android, so for Marshmallow, for Nougat. Um, users always want to know which ones are working, which ones are not when it comes to modules, because they they really don't want to take that much risk on installing a module and may end up basically crippling the device. Just remember, the uninstaller is there for that specific reason. If your system boots up and you're having problems with it, just download the uninstaller on your PC, boot into recovery, flash that to zip, and then just get your system up and running, and then remove that specific module that's causing you the headache. 
Uh, of course, without saying you should start the entire process, if you have a twerp or a custom recovery installed, start with an Android backup. So you always have a restore point that God forbid you do lose everything and it's not working. You could just restore back to that point. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think in, this co in the comments below. Thank you very much for the request. I have had a couple of requests asking for what works on Android Oreo. Um, the stuff that I have installed on my device work. And then, of course, that list will give you an update, up to date, uh, basically counter of what works and how it works on your Android Oreo device. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and recommend any modules you'd like to check out here on the channel on Exposed Tuesdays. This is TK. I'll see you guys in the next video.